We will now introduce you to the hardware setup options. We are now going into hardware setup. The first option is the printers option. In here you can choose receipt printer, which are the printers that print out small receipts. You can choose invoice or form printer, which are the standard size printers that would print an invoice. Or you can choose to turn off printing by selecting the no printer option. The second option is to set up the barcode format, which basically is the length of barcodes that you use in characters. For example, the most commonly used barcodes have a length of 12 characters. However, barcodes for books have a length of 13 characters. So in here you need to put the maximum length of characters for the barcodes that you will use. The next option is the printer's setup. In here you need to designate a printer for each printing task. This can be either the same printer for all the tasks or different printers. The next option is the cash drawer and receipt printer settings. In here you can select to use a cash drawer or not to use a cash drawer. By selecting to use a cash drawer, if the cash drawer is properly connected to your receipt printer, our software can automatically open the cash drawer when needed. If you choose to use a cash drawer, you will need to input the proper port for the receipt printer to which printer the cash drawer is connected. Also, you will need to either enter the decimal, hexadecimal, or the control font codes which your printer uses to open the cash drawer. These codes can be obtained either in the technical manual of the printer or by contacting your printer's manufacturer. The following option is Pole Display Settings. If you choose to use a pole display, you will need to select the pole display's port and the characters per line that the pole display is capable of displaying. The last option is Weight Scale Settings. If you choose to integrate a weight scale, you will simply need to select the port that the scale uses to connect to your PC. When you are done, click Submit Changes for the changes to take effect.